Uh, today I want to talk about binary search trees. Binary search trees. Okay, this is so this data structure is uh, very well used. It's mainly used to look up um, items fast as well as adding and removing items from a, a tree that you look at or tree or array that you're looking at okay uh, it's best case best case is big O of log of n and in worst case I apologize if the pen tapping is too loud is big O of log, um, not log of n big O of n okay and this is where the worst case is when uh, you have a tree that's left skewed that means only left children all the way down the rabbit hole or or you have a tree that's uh, right skewed all right like so this is what uh, gets you a worst case all right let's, let's give it an example here um, let's draw a tree let's give her that let's draw a tree Ah, let's switch colors actually. I'm tired of black. Okay. Let's see, you have a tree like this. Okay. Let's just populate this with some data A, B, C, D, and E. Okay. Um, when you have a binary search tree, like this. There are a couple of terminologies that you should keep in mind. For example, A is what is called a root node. Okay, so this is a root node of the entire tree. Uh, and it has children, mainly B and C. B is A's left child, child, and C is a right child. Okay. Now, if you look at this subtree, right subtree here, C is also a parent of two children, D and E, and D is C's left child, and E is C's right child. All right. Another important thing to keep in mind with binary search trees is everything to the left of the root node must be less than then the value that's contained in the root. In this case, we only have letters, but if this was populated by numbers, uh, say A was, A was uh, equal to 10, anything to the left of the tree that was added must be less than 10, okay? And similarly, anything that's greater than A must be on the right side, okay? So this is just a common convention that's used. Anything to the left is less than the root node, and anything to the right is greater than root node. And same applies in any left or right subtree. So anything here is less than C, and anything to the right is greater than C. All right. Another uh, key thing to keep in mind is binary search tree has uh, levels. So the the level of A is at depth zero. Okay, the level of B and C, they're on the same same level. That's depth one, and this is at depth two. Okay, and you can have it in as many depths as you like. So you goes all the way at the depth I. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna talk about is tree traversals. Uh, by the way, this is part one. Just, uh, it's just as a reminder, this is part one. And part two will be implementation in Java okay now the tree traversals that's used on binary search tree uh, let's call this traversals there are three different traversals we have a traversal called in order and we have pre-order yeah, oh, let's just uh, change the color here again. 
and let's just write pre-order here and lastly we have post order post order okay so in in order in in order traversal you visit the left side uh, left side first then you visit the parent then lastly you visit the right side okay and then I know this is a lot to keep in mind after I'm done a given description of each traversals I will give you a way to memorize uh, the order of each traversal okay and I'll also draw out the, uh, the binary search right here to give an example of what these how these traversals work okay for pre-order what was the color of that uh, I think it was this one for pre-order you visit the parent first then you visit the left side of the tree and finally you visit the right side okay for the post order you visit the left side first then you visit the right side and finally you visit the parent okay now I'm sure you picked up on it, but they all have a common theme. The only thing that seems to be uh, moving around is the parent. Okay, notice how the left side always comes before the right side. So a good way to remember this is to abbreviate it. So I'm going to abbreviate in order as L, P, R. Okay, then I'm going to abbreviate P order as P, L, R. And post order is going to be L R P. Okay, it's a good way to remember. It's 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 the only thing that gets moved around in order is and all these traversals is the parent. Okay, left side always comes before the right side. All right, so let's draw a, the, the the famous tree again. So we have a root node and with two children. And this child right here is also a parent of other two children. C, D, and E. Okay. So if we were to consider in order traversal on this tree right here, you would start at the left side. So you go to uh, the root node right here. And you, you look at the left, left side of the, uh, the root node. In this case, it's B. Okay, so B is written out first. Then you visit the parent. Okay, and then the parent is visited, A. Then you go to the right side, as indicated in, in order description. And then we here, we have a right subtree. So the same rules apply. All right. So you visit the left side first. And then so the D is printed out. Okay, then you visit the parent, which is C. Okay, and lastly, you go to the right, uh, C's right uh, child, which is E. Okay, that's the order of traversal in, in order traversal. Now, if you consider the pre-order, okay, you visit the parent first, so A gets printed out. Then you visit the left side, so it's the left children. So you then B, and then you visit the right side. And remember, again, this is a right subtree. So you apply the same rules starting over again because this there's a parent and he has two children, left and right child, so you repeat the process. All right, so you visit the parent and you print out C. Then you visit the left side and you get D. And then finally you visit the right side, which is uh, E, okay? For the post order, you visit the left side, so you go to the left child of the root node, which is B, and then you visit the right side. Notice here that you you don't write out write out the parent. Okay, you you skip over and you go to the right side. So you go back up to root node A, and then you go down to C, All right? And then when you get to C, this is a subtree, and then so you repeat the the process that you did for the entire tree. Okay, C is the parent. So then you go to the left side. So then the um, 
the D gets printed out. Then you, then you go back up to the parent, which you see. You don't print it. You go to the right side because there's a right node, right child. So then you, the D gets printed. And finally, you go back up to the parent, which you see. That gets printed out. And you go back up to where you came from, which is the root node A. And that's the parent of B and C. And you visited B and C already. And that gets printed out. Okay, notice the difference. Notice the difference in traversals. Make sure you get this down. If you don't understand it, uh, go watch the video again. And in the part two, I will implement this um, binary tree traversal. And hopefully everything works out well. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.